What's going on everybody, Josh Pocock here, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Agent Q, Advanced Reasoning and Learning for Autonomous AI Agents, and this AI agent can literally do anything, it can control your computer, it can do anything within your browser from searching things up, getting different information, we've covered different tools similar to this, such as Open Interpreter before on this channel, I'm going to show you how you can set this up easily without writing a line of code, it's 100% open source, let's dive right into it. All right, guys so here is the link to the github repo for agent q all the links that i cover will be in the description down below now the creators of agent q is this company called multi on and you'll see the blog post right here introducing agent q research breakthrough for the next generation of ai agents with planning and self-healing capabilities so in recent years the capabilities of llms have transformed natural language processing and understanding achieving remarkable milestones despite these advancements llms have significant challenges in interactive environments especially in tasks requiring multi-step reasoning like web navigation current training methodologies relying on static language data sets fall short in equipping these models for re dynamic real world interactions enter agent q a major milestone for agents combining search self critique and reinforcement learning to state-of-the-art autonomous web agents that can plan and self-heal our breakthrough method addresses the limitations of previous LLM techniques by introducing a novel framework for learning and reasoning for autonomous web navigation. All right, so Agent Q innovates basically on this research paper that I'll uh, briefly touch on in just a second by combining guided Monte Carlo tree search, MCTS, and AI self-critique with iterative fine-tuning, leveraging reinforcement learning for human feedback, RLFH methods like direct preference optimization, DPO, algorithm this method enables llm agents to learn from both successful and unsuccessful trajectories enhancing the generalization capabilities and multi-step reasoning tasks so key components of agent q guided search with mcts ai self-critique and dpo direct preference optimization now real world validation so in real world experiments on open table multi ons agents drastically improved the zero shot performance of llama 3 model from 18.6% success rate to 81.7%, a 340% jump after just one day of autonomous data collection and further to 95.4% with online search. These results highlight our methods efficiency and ability for autonomous web agent improvement. And then it links to the full paper here. All right, so this is the actual research paper that you can go ahead and check out. I'll leave it in the description down below. Agent Q Advanced Reasoning and Learning for Autonomous AI Agents. It goes in depth um, based on, you know, this their research and their new framework. And I actually created a step-by-step -step guide for Agent Q. So you can get up and running. I have all the different resources you could possibly want for Agent Q. The Chrome extension, the blog post, the repo, the research paper, the docs, the API reference, SDKs, and all that good stuff outlined in this doc i'm going to leave it in the description for you guys for free so you can check this out follow along with this video if you get stuck you can reference this doc it's going to have all the different commands to run to get this set up and pretty much anything you could possibly want when it comes to agent q getting it started okay all right and i did briefly summarize the uh agent research agent q research paper right here so i'm not going to go over it but it's pretty much a lot of the stuff we covered in that blog post there is a little bit more um, that they talk about of course in the research paper but uh, there is a summary right here so you can check that out if you want to dive deeper into that now to get started with agent q there's really two main ways you can use this now the first way is through the command line and i'm going to show you how you can set that up in just a second the second way is through the chrome extension so you can use it either way or both ways the chrome extension is really cool too especially if you don't want to do any sort of commanding or whatever the case may be all right, so this is the link to the Chrome extension. You can go here, download the Chrome extension for free, and then you're just going to have to create a multi on account for free. You can come up here to the Chrome extension. You'll see there's different options, API enabled, multi on home screen, show assistant, there's settings and configure here. Now, once you're at the actual multi on home screen here, you can write a command. So there's really two ways to do this. You can go through auto or step by step. Um, and they give you some different options here, like book a meeting, order me a burger on DoorDash, whatever the case may be. 
So if I just do search Josh Pocock on YouTube and then click do it, you can see we get a little chat right here, a little chat GUI pop up and it's already at YouTube. It's just loading right now. And boom, we just searched up Josh Pocock on YouTube. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And it actually clicked on my YouTube channel already. So you can see here in the chat, we're literally talking to it. And it said, I'm navigating to YouTube to search for Josh Pocock. I clicked on the channel link. And now the search has been completed. You can give it a rating. You can actually have uh, different prompts that suggest like subscribe to the channel. You can even click voice right here. So let me just move let me just move my head a bit, but you can see here there's voice, there's next step, like there's so much you can do, start over, send, play, really, really cool Chrome extension. And you probably notice I haven't even entered a, like an API key yet. So it's not even using your um, OpenAI API key or your Claude. Um, it's literally just using the free Chrome extension. All right, you could also click personalize here, um, turn on voice, like this is the future when it comes to browsing the web. You're never going to be in the future in like a year or two years from now. You're never going to be going manually clicking, clicking on different things. I mean, you may do that a bit, but most of the time you're going to be using your AI assistant, your AI agent. So I think this is a huge stepping stone in the right direction. And like I mentioned, we've covered other tools like Open Interpreter. There's other ones too that I will continue covering on this channel. So stay tuned for that. And this one's really cool though. And I'm definitely going to dive into it a lot deeper because they even have an API reference right here where you can have autonomous API reference of browse, retrieve, create session, step session, close session, screenshot, list sessions, and then their documentation. And then they have SDKs for Node.js, Python. So if you're a developer and you want to add something like this into your app, you can definitely explore and build some cool things with this. Now let's go ahead and get it set up in our actual um, command terminal. So you can go ahead and there it does have the instructions right here in the GitHub. But now there are a few different little things that it is missing. Um, and I'll just fill in the blanks for you. I actually have it all outlined in this document right here. So the prerequisites, of course, that you're going to need before we even get into the installation process is Git, Python and poetry. All right. So you can go to poetry here and you can literally just run pip x install poetry if you don't already have it, poetry installed. And then you're going to need an open AI API key, or I'm going to also show you how you can use, you know, together AI, Grok, Grok. Um, you could use Olama. You can really use any single model with this, which is really, really powerful. So you can use closed source models or open source models. So first things first, you're going to git clone the repo here. So you're going to open up your command terminal. I would recommend running it as an administrator. And then you're going to git clone the repo into your desired location. I'm not going to do that because I already did it. All right. Once you do that, you're going to CD into agent Q. So you're going to run this command to change directory into agent Q. So once you CD into agent Q, then you're going to run pip x install poetry. So that's actually if you don't, if you didn't already install poetry, like I said, so after you install poetry, or if you already have poetry installed, you're going to run poetry install. So this is going to install all the dependencies. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI powered appointment setters that work 24 seven, never get tired and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. Okay, so depending on if you're on Mac or Windows, um, you're going to want to set your OpenAI environment variable. So um, if you don't have this set already, all right, if you've been doing different things with uh, tools like this, then you probably already have your API key set. But if you don't, for Mac and Linux, you're going to run export OpenAI API key and then equals your OpenAI API key. And then for Windows, it's set X OpenAI key space and then your OpenAI API key. And this is going to be the same thing for if you're using Grok or Together AI, which I'll show you in just a second. You're going to make sure you're wanting to uh, set that environment variable in your operating system. 
okay once you have all that set up you're going to start chrome in dev mode okay so there's a couple ways to do this for mac you're going to run this command right here i'm not on a mac so um yeah and then for Win linux you're going to run this command and then for windows they say to run this command for me that one didn't work i actually had to add an and in front of it okay so i ran this command well, to be actually 100% accurate, I ran this command. Either one should work. This one just basically uh, automatically sets a user profile for you. And what this is basically doing is starting Chrome in developer mode on port 9222. Now, one thing I will say is if you have, for me personally, I had uh, Adobe Premiere open up, which actually uses that port too. Um, so you, you, if you are running to any issues, it could be some external application that you have opened and you may just have to close that and rerun it. Okay. Once you have Chrome open up, it's going to look something like this, just like normal Chrome. And then you're going to want to run Python dash U dash M space agent Q. Okay. So just literally copy and paste this. And once you copy and paste it, it is going to boot up agent Q in the command terminal. You'll see current state agent, current thought plan completed tasks and then you can enter in your task and we'll do that right now all right so my command is search up josh pocock on youtube and click on the second most recent video okay so it's actually doing this in the new tab that we opened up so it's searching youtube right here okay so we can see completed task youtube okay so we can literally see typing in josh pocock into the search and we can see that completed task right here Next is identifying the list of video results for Josh Pocock uh, on the YouTube search results, focusing on the video timestamps. So I probably would have just clicked on my channel, went to videos, and then looked at the second most recent one. But I mean, we'll see how this works. Identify the second most recent video on Josh Pocock for the search results based on the provided video timestamps. Now, keep in mind that this is this could technically be right. I should have been more specific in the prompt. And this is something that I... I just want to reiterate and um, hammer down is your prompts are key. Be specific in your prompts. Okay. So we got this actually, yes, this is the second most recent video. So it did get it correct. It did analyze the timestamps and that is pretty damn cool. And this is using the open AI model. Now I'm going to show you, and as you can see, the final result has been done and you can literally get creative with this um, and, you know, go wild. Now I'm going to show you how you can do this with any single model. All right. So, First things first, you're going to want to open up the repo into something like uh, cursor or VS code, which I have right here. Then you're going to want to go to the folder. These are the, this is the, the what you're going to want to go to base.py. And this is in the directory of agent Q and then core and then agent. So if you see here, I'm in agent Q and then in core and then in agent, and then you'll see base.py. Now you'll see here, I have this in the guide step by step. If client is open AI, it will use open AI. And if it's together or whatever you want to use, then it will be use the base URL and API key that you set uh, in the code and in the OS environment. So you'll see here in line 26 in the code, it says client and then open AI. So if you change this to together, for example, then it will use the together base URL here as well as the together API key right here. So you're going to need to set this in your environment variables. Now you can do this for Grok, together, Olama, Claude. You get the point. You're just going to need to change that base URL to whatever you're using. So if I go down to line, I believe, 50, 52 and 53, you'll see base URL. So if I wanted to use Grok, I would just change this to the word Grok instead of together. And I would go up here and change this from OpenAI to Grok. And then it's going to use that second one, right? So it has this, if client equals open AI, it's going to use the regular open AI. And then if it equals whatever you write here, whether that's Olama together, whatever, Grok, then it's going to use whatever base URL you set here. And then the environment variable token uh, or the environment variable name for the API key that you set here. Okay. Now I also left some additional videos to open interpreter i did two videos on open interpreter and i'm going to do more videos on tools like this 
Um, if you want me to do more videos on Agent Q or any specific agent that can control your computer, do certain things, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you want me to do a video on any other AI coding tool or whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Hope you got some value from this video. I just want to cover this AI agent tool. Like I said, I think this is the future. I think this is huge. And I think this is very, very good. Like when you use it, it's pretty damn accurate there's going to be bugs just like in any single tool but like i said this is the future the this is a trajectory we're going with ai searching ai browsing but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below about this tool and where we're going in all this type of innovation that we're seeing so rapid in ai all right other than that guys um hope you got some value from this video if you did make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with the daily uploads we upload videos every single day on ai automation business growth bunch of different stuff here and if you're new to the channel and you haven't already joined our free facebook group and free discord channel links to that will be in the description down below stridecommunity.com also too guys thank you so much for the recent 7,000 subscribers road to 10k on the way appreciate your guys' support i'm extremely grateful and if you guys do run a business and you need appointments booked for your business on autopilot from ai agents 24 7 that never sleep and are trained on thousands of successful conversational pathways and visit strideagents.com link to that will be in the description down below and if it does seem like something that could help your business just book a call with myself and my team and we'll see if it's a good fit other than that guys i will see you in tomorrow's video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care